kickoff. Auburn has won the toss and they will receive. So we'll see the wishbone formation of Pat Dye first in action. And the question is, can Auburn bounce back after its disheartening loss to Miami to open the season? There he is, Pat Dye, his 11th year, 179, lost only 33 and tied one. Winning this coach that they've had percentage-wise for a while at Auburn University. Kicking off for Texas will be Jeff Ward. There's Fred Akers, his 10th year. He's set the all-time percentage winning mark in the Southwest Conference. Cloud, Florida, 196, and he can fly, and we're underway. Low bounding kick, and it'll get back to forward at the two. Tries it up the middle of the 20 to the 23-yard line, and here we go with the first game, play of the game from Austin, Texas. Auburn, first and 10. Back in his own 23, and this is Bo Jackson. Tries the left side. Bo Jackson has carried the ball for the first time. It's second down and six. They pick the fullback. The option, they take the quarterback down. A great play by James McKinney, the left end. And it's third down, 11. And Brady Wigan, a great young freshman receiver, is in. Here's Washington, the play action. Drills it in. It is caught over there by Jeff Parks, the tight end. Foot with an outstanding punter for Auburn. He'll kick him about his own 20. Here's the kick against the win. Fair catch called to the up back. And it is taken there by Felt. After only a 25-yard putt, great field position for Texas. The fullback, Jerome Johnson, carries on first down. Picks up a couple of three very tough yards. Right at flanker, and Brett Duhan is the wide receiver. Just one receiver out to the left side, second and seven. Now they go to an unbalanced uh, to the right side. And a deep hand off the tailback. Robinson trying to circle the right in over the 50 and down to about the Auburn 48. Third down possession play for Texas. He needs about two and a half. Dodge first time, drills it, complete to the tight end, Harris for first down. From uh, Texas, here's a handoff to fullback, Ronnie Robinson's running out of tailback tonight. Second and eight from the 40-yard line. Straight drop this time, off in the flat, they hit Robinson, turns the corner inside the 40, and close to the 35. To the tight end, William Harris, Bill Boy Bryant, flanked out wide to the right side, they run the draw, play and it won't work. Robinson thrown back behind the line of scrimmage to 49 to 40 54 yards 54 yard try by Jeff Ward wind at his back it's, it's long enough is it straight no it is wide boy did he put some leg to that but it all goes for naught and we remain scoreless Auburn nothing Texas nothing first period this is look where Auburn gets the ball it's a 37 yard line and Pat dies coming with two wide receivers here's Washington going for the home run to gain it and down is Buford and it's over his fingertips he's gonna have to put the ball in the air here against this Texas defense waste no time now the handoff to Bo Jackson a straight dive nothing doing he is slammed back by Tony Edwards set out wide they got a double wing set in the backfield one set back here's Washington looking Fires the sideline, intended over there for Wagan, incomplete. Remember that fourth quarter, the close game, that could be very valuable. Colbert again, the wind catches that ball, fair catch call, and take another 45 by Felt again. The second time, Texas now takes over its own 45, and here's the play action fake. Dodge over the middle, a wobbly pass thrown incomplete. Texas not able to cash in on his good field position. Here's the play action rollout. Dodge, got a man open, Harris the tight end. Inside the 40 to the 37. Kevin Elps and Brett Duhan, the wide receivers. Remember, Elps caught an 80-yarder last year against Auburn. Here's Dodge going the sidelines to uh, Elps over his head. Bill Boy Bryant's in there. He's a clutch catcher wide receiver. Pitch it back to Robinson, tries to sweep. Nope. Auburn's right there to slam the door. This time, the 38-yard line of Auburn. And Dodge on the play action, big roller. He fires, got a man open. He hits him down here out of the backfield. Johnson, Johnson's got the first down. He's inside the 20. Now first and 10 from the Auburn 19. Brett developing here for Texas. They give him the tailback. Robinson breaks a tackle. Picks it to the 10 and inside. And had to be sidelined. Here he is trying to take Texas in. They hit up the middle with Robinson, and he is crunched hard by that Auburn line. First down. Look for Robinson. Yep, it's Robinson. No, he's thrown for loss at the 10. What a gallant defensive series. Or in motion. And here comes Dodge on the bootleg roll out. He's going to get the first down. Todd Dodge making a touchdown. He does. Touchdown, Texas. It was a naked rollout on a great fake. Well, nothing surprises like surprise. 
And the drive of the point after Jeff Ward. And he's 32 in a row without a miss is Jeff Ward, the sophomore from Austin, has never missed a point after. Back deep now will be Brent Fullwood for Auburn. And here's Ward with another bounding kick. They respect the speed of Auburn. This one's going to go through the end zone. will come out to the 20. To the 30-yard line. Now Auburn in their eye. Here's the pitch to Bo Jackson. Spilled up back there. A fine low tackle by Stephen Bragg. The one out there. Bo Jackson runs the 100 in about 9-4. That's how he can fly. It's like a fumble, and Washington drops on it. Passing situation here for uh, Washington. Washington sack. That was the great. Tony the great. Number 99 is a candidate for national honors. A little bobble there by Colbert. He gets it away. Wynn catches it again. And here's going to be the catch taken about the 45-yard line in Auburn territory at the 44. The wind's been a very big factor here in the first quarter. And here's a give on the inside. They try to fool him with a fake on the pitch out. Be a halfback fast. Borchelle, who is scheduled to be the starting quarterback, now running a tailback. Another rollout play action fake. They throw it back to Borchelle. Off on the screen pass inside the 40. Borchell has come out of there. Tailback is Orr at the only setback. Here's the quick one over the middle of Bill Boy Bryant. Bill Boy Bryant looking for open field. 20, 15, cutting back. Bill Boy Bryant to the 10. And down on the 7-yard line. Spectacular run by colorful Bill Boy Bryant. First and goal. Ball at the 7-yard line. They got another... Full house backfield here. The handoff is to Orr. Tries to duck inside. Harrison Monroe. Tailback is Robinson. They give it to Orr again. Blockers in front of him. Cuts back. And he is to the goal line. But I don't think he got it over. Third down. They got less than a yard to go for a touchdown. They give it over the middle to Orr. Oh, no, it's Brown. Michael Brown. Touchdown for Texas. Well, it was Terry Orr. Pfeiffer's 33rd straight point after touchdown. He's got it. Almost automatic. And Smokey the Cannon is already in action here in Austin tonight. As we come down the final minute of the first quarter. Time Jeff Ward has refused to kick with the wind in his back. And he sails another one back there. Picked off here by Ed Graham. Graham comes over the 20. 25. He's filled up there at the 28-yard line. Auburn now with Pat Washington back for the wishbone. Gives it into the first man, Agee, the fullback. He is stacked up, coming down the end of the that. first quarter. Here's the pitch to Bo Jackson. Cuts through a hole, makes his way up over the 35. And that's the end of the first quarter. And Austin with the score, Texas 14. And the Auburn Tigers nothing. There's the familiar wishbone of Pat Dye. Pitch to Bo Jackson. Jackson got the first down, breaks tackles, and drives up over the 40. First down play, and here's Washington's play action. Drills it. It's caught by Gaines. Jeffries hits him down. Steve Wallace, the big left tackle, is one of them. Now they got the two young wide receivers in there. As the long they're going for the bomb, could be intercepted. Ray was back there, but couldn't quite reach it. Second down and 10. Auburn at the Texas 47. It's the first penetration of Texas territory. Fullback age. He's got it. He breaks through there. Cracks down for a first down. Free Joe Thomas. Well, there's the signal at least. They're in here. Texas brought its first line linebackers back in the game. Washington now. Counter play to Bo Jackson. He almost broke it. He goes out of the lineup. Tim Jesse comes in to replace him. Fullback is still aging. Got second about a yard to go. And they give it to Agee for the first down. He's got it and more. First down play coming up for Washington. Auburn threatening. Here's the play action rollout. Didn't fool Texas. Into the end zone incomplete. Trying to hit Wagan, the young. It gives it to Agee. Agee on a slap. Breaks a tackle inside the 10 yard line. And Auburn's inside the Texas 10. Big play. Agee, they call his number again. He's got it. And he's got it. Now Auburn trying to get seven points back to trail 14 0. They give it to Bo Jackson. He tries the left side, running right behind Big Steve Wallace. Second and goal, about two and a half yards. They come 70 yards on this drive. Here's the keeper, Washington. Pitches it out, and it's a touchdown by Collins. Kyle Collins, the left halfback, 
Great option pitch out on the fake by Washington. Drew in the Texas defense. Pretty play, Paul McGuire. Oh, it was a pretty play. It's 14-6. Here's the try for the extra point. Drill right through there by Robert McGinney. And now it's suddenly back to a seven-point lead. The score, Texas 14 and Auburn 7. Is preparing to kick off right here is Robert McGinney. Tillman is waiting back deep with F. He's going to go back in the end zone, and right there, Tony Tillman will kill it down. T Texas comes out to take over in his own 20. Terry Orr is in the backfield. Dodge on the deep handoff. Gives it off to Orr. But they're staying anywhere from 8 to 10 yards off the wide receivers. They're giving the first down. All right, here's the handoff to Kevin Nelson. And a little bit of a cross fake back there. Gerald Williams, big play for Texas. They got to try to get back some of the momentum. Here comes Dodge rolling out. Dodge fires it, drills it to Bill Boy Bryant for first down. Caught over the 35-yard line. Here's Dodge in, gives off to his deep tailback and runs into one of his own players. And Bill Boy Bryant's the spot, so both wide receivers are to the right. Dodge sends his big ball back. Fumble. Right to the Fumbles the ball. Auburn recovers around the 45 of Texas. A first big turnover break of the game. Washington now set to go with the wishbone. Let's see if Auburn with the momentum here can keep rolling. They give it to Bo Jackson. Jackson, little sidestep, almost broke it. Second down and four for Auburn. Now they're running with power. They give it to the fullback, A.G. Tries for the first down, doesn't get it. Rather, where? Reggie Ware. And they hand it off to Kyle Collins, and Texas meets him. He doesn't get the first down. Facing a big fourth down play here by Auburn. Fourth about two. Roll out by Washington. He's going to run for the first down. He's got it. Washington inside the 30. 25 for Pat. Now Auburn's rolling again. First down at the Texas 25. The trail by just seven. Washington goes to sidelines. Incomplete penalty down. And they really are. Offside. Defense. First down. But also A.G. is hurting him. Fullwood and Jess here and there. Here's the pitch back to Fullwood. Fullwood tries to sweep to the right side. A chance for Washington trying to fake them and do something. Nope, he's going to try to get the first down. He does. That's Brett Fullwood. First and 10. Ball just outside the 10. They could get a first down, I believe. Virtually first and goal. There's a mix-up, and Washington has to eat the ball. Second down and goal for Albert. And they give it on the inside handoff, and the great again stops that. Got Middleton out the right, a, a tight end. A leg or a roll. Gain is a split wide the left. It's a delay draw play to forward, and he's hit around the six-yard line. And the try of 22 yards. Mike Mann will hold at the 12-yard line. Tough angle. This is a tough angle. Wind at his back for McGinney. And the kick is up, and it is good. So McGinney has picked up three more for Auburn with three minutes and 33 seconds to go in the first half. It is now Texas 14 and Auburn 10. ESPN delighted to be on hand to see you live action of this game from the College Football Association lineup. Deep kick off the end zone. Running it out of there is Tony Tillman. Tillman to 15, looking for a block. Tillman to 25, and he is pulled down around the 27. Texas at its own 27. Johnson, Nelson, the setbacks behind Dodge. Gives the first guy, Johnson. Pull back, tries right guard. Second down and five. Epps and Duhon, the wide receivers here for Dodge. Deep handoff again goes to Nelson, and Nelson is dropped. Johnson, the fullback, has Kevin Nelson, the freshman tailback behind him. Here's the play action take. Dodge drills it incomplete. But boy, that was great pressure. And the punt now is Talchik. High snap, but he's going to get it off. Low driving kick might be run back. Gaines is back there. Gaines running laterally and will not get across the 30. Reggie Ware still running at fullback. And there's a gift to Reggie Ware by Washington, and he is swarmed over and later play Florida State. Texas got Oklahoma and Penn State. Here's Washington. Drills a spot pass. He's hit Buford. Buford up over the 45 for a first down. Now, Tillman did not leave him. He stayed right with him. Washington looking. Pitches it back, and they scramble for it. That was Tim Jesse. Time for a couple of more plays, perhaps. Now, penalty flag goes down. Offsides. So it's off. Gain is it wide the right. Buford is in the slot. And here's Washington. Drills it up the middle. Drop. Incomplete. 
Here's a draw play to Agee. Agee gets some running room. Agee to the 50. Does not get the first down. 17. I don't understand why Auburn doesn't take a timeout. No, they're going to run out the clock on fourth down. Here's Washington. Washington back downfield, and he's hit his man, Wagan, over the middle of the 35 for a first down. They're going to go for the long bomb here, what looks like the last play of the first half. Washington to the sidelines, hits Wagan. They tried to get it down there closer, and they get out of bounds with one second to go. The six seconds would have gone. Here we go. And they're getting out from 40 yards, and he's got it up there with plenty to spare. And it is good. And Auburn has pulled within a single point of Texas after trailing by 14 points at the end of the first quarter. So the second period belonged to the Tigers from Auburn. And here at halftime, the score is Texas 14, Auburn 13. He kicked the ball on there, or rather Ward. He does again. One of the up backs takes it down here. Here comes back for Auburn. And the run back by Walker is up around the 35-yard line. Not a lot. Trey Gaines, a wide receiver, is out to the right side. First play of the second half for Auburn. Gives it to the fullback, A.G. And A.G. on a slant. Second and six for Auburn. They pitch it back to Bo Jackson. The All-American comes up to the 43. Big factor in the first uh, half of the ball game. And they pitch it back, and there's Collins. And I don't think he's going to get it. Baker the fuller. Here they pitch it back, and oh, they're going to be fooled at all. Trap back there is Buford, and he's trying the end around. Pulling for a big loss. Back on the 35 by Stephen Braggs and James McKinney. Second down and 21 for Auburn. Back at the 35. Now uh, Washington fires it over. Locked down nicely. Look at here. We've got Bo Jackson split way out. Now uh, they got Wagan, Gaines both in there, and Jackson wide. Here comes Washington. Looks right, fires back to his left, and he throws it wild and complete in the teeth of this win here in Austin, Texas. There's the kick high in the air. Wind grabs it, bringing it straight down around the 40, and it takes an Auburn bounce over the 35, then bounces back to the 35, and two wide receivers out. And he gets the first man through. Jerome Johnson, the fullback. I think he is an All-American timber. Gene Children. Now here's a rollout by Dodd. Dodd fires it. And it is intercepted back here by Caesar, I believe. And a penalty flag goes down. It could be interference. Caesar was trading him. There's the signal. It's against Auburn. 15 yards in the line of scrimmage. Oh, I guess it is the spot of the foul or 15. Jerome Johnson heading straight ahead. Bill Boy Bryant's in there as a double uh, wide receiver. It's a deep hand off oh. the tailback Robinson. And boy, as he cracked behind the line of scrimmage. Line. Also in there is Kelvin Nelson as Freddie Akers shaking up his backfield lineup. Delay a game. And here's going to be a call against Texas. That'll cost him another five yards. Side top of your screen. Here he comes in motion. Play action. Pressure is put on him. Here's a pass. Field down. He's caught down there by Nelson. Boy, a first down. Briggs didn't play the back coming out of the backfield. Now here's uh, Dodge rolling again. Drills it. And it's caught again around the 32-yard line. Another great completion for Texas. First down play, Texas. Now the Auburn 32. Here's Dodge going for the deep and down the middle. And he's got it for touchdown to Duhon. Deep post pattern to Brent Duhon, his first call tonight. Point now, Jeff Ward, he's hit 33 in a row. That's 34 out of 34, and the score now, Texas 21, Auburn 13. His high school teammates. Now here's the kickoff, sailing kick, and back is full with about a yard inside his end zone. Comes out the 15, looking for a block, 20, and pull down the 25 from behind. Fullwood, Jesse, and Age in the backfield. They pitch it off here to Jesse. And tries the left side. Not too much success. And yeah, number 63, Floyd. Hollis Campbell now is coming at fullback. For Auburn, Pat Dye using a lot of players. There's a gift to Campbell on a slant out of the first option in the wishbone. Second and eight for Auburn at the 46. It's a straight dive play up the middle that time by uh, Jesse. For a third down and six for Auburn. They're trailing by eight. They give it a fullback again, and the grade is right there to stop him at his own 39 or 40 yard line. Good snap. And a kick high up against the wind. Fair catch called for, but the up back takes on the 25 yard line. The fullback Moore shell now the tailback. 
They give it to Rob Morshill. Tries to find a hole on the left side. Nothing doing. He's awesome. recovering. Boy, he is awesome looking. He's <laughs> running now. Be back in a couple of weeks, he thinks. There's a rollout by Dodd. Drills it downfield. Had a man open through it too short. Morshill to tailback, and that's where he is. And here he is. Morshill on the sweep. Left side with the power. It isn't there. It doesn't Auburn. Good snap for Telchik. And Telchik he hits hit. a beauty. Oh, boy. Way back. Back is Gainus, lets it go over his head, hits to the 25-yard line, and it'll be down on the 26. Auburn takes over first and 10, back at its own 27. Give it up again, the middle to the fullback. Washington off the side, the man didn't see it. Now it's third down for Auburn back at their 28-yard line. They need a big play here. They'll be going against the win. Sideline pattern is caught over that by Bo Jackson. Jackson, a dangerous man, comes over the 45. Washington fakes his fullback. Play action pass. Going for the home run. And down is Wagan. The Spencer's got it inside the 10. First and goal for Auburn. A.G. College of Jackson now in the wishbone. Auburn will try to punch it in here and get back. Two-point point if they score will get them even. Here goes Bo Jackson. Touchdown. Bo oh, Jackson, there's the artistry of the master. Heisman Trophy candidate. Once he smells pay dirt. Great block by Steve Wallace. Open the hole. And he plunges in. And now Auburn has a chance with a two-pointer to pull even. Talk about action in September. Well, this is like a championship game. There are the three wide receivers to the right. Washington coming back up the middle of fullback. A.G. cannot make it. Texas stopped him short. And Texas will retain the lead. It is Texas 21 and Auburn 19. We'll be right back. Now the kickoff for Auburn. Epps is waiting back down here. Also, here's Tony Tillman. He's got the ball over the 20, down on the 23. You don't stop him with arm tackles. There was a good example. Texas lead's been cut to two. And they give it on a quick handoff to Terry Orr, the fullback. Outside by throwing it. They got Bill Boy Bryant to the left, and here's Dodge rolling. Dodge going deep for Bill Boy Bryant. Over his shoulder, out of bounds. Harris. Terry Orr now running the only setback. Three wide receivers are in there for Texas. And here's Dodge dumping it off to Orr. A uh, release man. It doesn't fool Auburn that much. He can and maybe come up to it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There's Telchik off the side of his foot. This one may be no, a fair catch call for by uh, Gaines. Forward, A.G. and Jackson in the backfield. Auburn back to the wishbone from their own 24. They give it to Bo Jackson. Jackson runs into a big stack of orange shirted defenders. Second and 10. There's a counter play. Bo Jackson getting some room at the 30. Look out. He can fly. Bo Jackson after Miss Gray. And it is. I don't even not catch it. Yes, Gray from behind the 25-yard line of Texas. Bo Jackson in a foot race with Jerry Gray, two All-Americans. No question about it. But now Auburn back threatening. First and 10 the 23 of Texas. And to the right side goes forward. Mad catches him. Boy, two great All-Americans. Here goes forward, trying the middle. Spun down around the 20-yard line. Third down and seven here for Auburn. Field goal try will be over 35 yards. It gets the win. They have to try it here. And they give it to A.G. and he has stacked up around the 18. Now they'll try a 35-yard field goal. And remember, the holder is the backup quarterback man. Again, he in the try. But the kick is no. low and partially blocked. And Texas will get the ball with 47 seconds to go. Epps in motion. Has a fake to Epps. And here's Dodge down the middle. And he's hit Duhon for first down. First down, Texas at the 37. Dodge goes back the air again. Stays in the pocket. Going for the home run to Duhon. Maybe intercepted. No, it's off the fingertips down there. So the log of Dodge tonight. He's had a good night. Got the new receiver in here, Hayes, number 14. Dodge scrambling, throws up the middle. There's a man there. There's caught tight in Harris. Down at the Auburn 42. Big play for Texas. And here's Dodge setting up. Dodge going for the deep one. He's got Duhon there. Incomplete. Oh, boy, that was close to another touchdown. Duhon thought he was hit. Time, two seconds to go. 
Second and ten. Here's Dodds going to go to the air. Last time he'll have the win. Going the long with the Duhon. He's there. And it is incomplete. Duhon slipped and fell. No, it, everybody's booing because they think it's pass interference, but that's incidental contact. All right, the score. Texas 21, Auburn 19, and the quarter three. Texas leads by a slim two points heading into the fourth quarter. Third and ten for Texas at the Auburn 42. There's a little flare pass. Out in the pocket. It's caught out here by Nelson. And Nelson stops short of a first down inside the 20-yard line. Let's see what happens here. Telchik averaged over 43 yards a kick. He was sixth in the NCAA, deep as you can. He hit it in the end zone. He'd hit it too good. Hangs it up there <laughs> and right in the end zone for the touchback. Auburn fans have come up here, not as in bigger numbers, but they feel now their team has got some momentum going in the fourth quarter. Here's the cow fumble. Texas has got it at the 16-yard line. Brett Fullwood fumbled, and Jim Moore, number 75, pounced on it for the Longhorns. Let's see if they can cash in. First and 10 at the Auburn 17-yard line. Dodge hits it about. Here's Nelson on a sweep. Cuts inside. Goose to the 10-yard line. Second and three, you get to the fullback. Then there goes Johnson. Johnson will score. Touchdown. Might have been a little short trap or just a quick hitter, but Jerome Johnson found the hole, Paul McGuire. Hasn't missed yet. And there's another one. There goes Smokey the Cannon. 28 19. The score now Texas 28, Auburn 19. And Brett Fullwood for Auburn. Another bounding kick. Taken about the 21 yard line by Kyle Collins. Collins just goes straight up the field over the 30. Well, you don't leave doors open for Fred Akers' team. That's for sure. It's Bo Jackson trying the left side. Good, sure tackle over. <laughs> Bo Jackson is just outstanding. Well, you can't say enough. He does it all. He blocks, receives everything. They give it to the fullback, Tommy Agee. And they give him the ball once in a while, and he does well with it. Third in the yard, two tight ends are in for Auburn. They give it to Bo Jackson, he cuts back, he's hit, spins away, stays on his feet, cuts the first down. And then Bo Jackson keeps his feet, and moves back to the outside, picks up the first down. His agility is incredible. First down play, oh, it's complete over here to Guaygan. Second down and one for Auburn, at the Texas 45. Here comes Auburn again. Washington over the middle. Got a man wide open, parks the tight end. He may score. Parks inside the 10 and spilled at about the five yard line. That was Bragg. Somebody missed an assignment there because nobody around Parks. It's to go Auburn at the Texas six yard line. Tigers have come right back. They hand it off to Fullwood, tries the right side. Fumble. Washington drops on it. Third and goal for Auburn at the Texas five. They get him on the left side, then it's a forward, and he is stacked up around the one. Jackson's in there, so forward. Fourth down, give it to Bo Jackson over the top. Touchdown, I think, but penalty flag's down. Motion penalty in the backfield. Penalty flag is down. And, and one other thing, this may be, there was a touchdown on the play. He's very accurate. And this will be a try of 23 yards. He's got it up there and through. He knows it's good. Oh, wait a minute. They say it goes wide right. McGinney thought he had hit it. Had both hands in the air. But at the last moment, the ball veered off to the right and failed. And what a costly series that was for Auburn. And it's a costly uh, series for Auburn. They beat themselves with mistakes and penalties. Here comes Texas. Johnson up the middle. I see for Texas. Dodge back, hands off his fullback, Jerome Johnson, to the right side. We'll see how crucial that becomes. Here comes Dodge. Dodge fires it down the right side. He's got a man over there, but it's over his head, incomplete. Get that one. Illegal procedure, Texas. Back there. And here's the punt. Rob will kick, Gaines comes over. It takes a bounce toward the sidelines. There'll be no return. Texas will down it just over the 50. Now goes to the defense. Auburn with the wishbone attack. Takes the fullback, Washington on the play action. Washington sack, hit from the blind side. Ball gets loose. Texas may have recovered it. Let's see. They do. Texas recovers the fumble. James McKinney was the man who hit Washington the blind side. Seven minutes, 25 seconds to go. Let's see if Texas tries to keep it on the ground here and grind out the clock. 
Running in the eye, they give it to the fullback, hitting straight ahead. Johnson gets a little room and spins over the 40. And that pass to Brent Duhon. Pitch back to Orr. Key. Here's Orr in the sweep. Orr fighting, got a first down. He's inside the 30. Texas, they got tough games coming up with Penn State later, Oklahoma, and then, of course, the Southwest Conference race. Looks like it's going to be a little wide open. Pitches back to Orr again on the sweep. Keeps the ball inbounds. They give it the first man through the fullback. Johnson got some room. 15. Johnson's got a first down. All right, Hayes to the left, Bill Boy Bryant to the right. They give it to the fullback up the middle, and Jerome Johnson. Now here they come around the other way, and there's Johnson still on his feet, scores. Oh, 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 do you love it? Don't you love it? He just refused to go down. Jerome Johnson couldn't find anything in the middle, and he just reversed his field. And that could be the one that spelled doom for Auburn. Jeff Ward in the try for the point after. He's got it. That's 36 in a row for Ward and the point after department. And Texas four. Another bounding kick downfield. And another fumble here by Auburn. And they're going to drop on it around the 23-yard line. And, and win football game. Auburn's got to take it to the air. Now here comes a, a pass thrown in the ground. by taking them out of the game. We'll see. Here's Washington. He's dangerous. Off the flat. Little screen to Agee. 30. First down. Agee 35. Taken out of bounds. Stops the clock with 434 to go. Houston, Texas. Giving us some outstanding shots here in the evening. The Texas evening. Left side Washington. Hits his man Buford over there. Tries to give a little stutter step. But Texas got too many men on the field. I look for Washington. There goes the penalty down. It's a free play here for Auburn. Plays tight. Tie the score. But the ball's at the Texas 41. Washington's got two wide receivers to the right and one to the left. Washington throws underneath there and he hits his man, Collins. Auburn hoping somehow to score two touchdowns here in the final four minutes and salvage a tie if they can. Down the oh. middle. Almost intercepted by Gray. Oh, there's the All-American. Texas is one of the few college teams, Paul, that still plays a lot of man-to-man -man defense on passes. They use very little zone. Draw a play. Down the middle, Campbell. And Collis Campbell. They're not even thinking about run. They're just coming. All four guys are just keying off with the lineman and going. Four-man rush. So again, the ball is dropped. Incomplete. Cooper is to the right. Wagan is to the left. They run the draw play with Campbell, and he's got the first down. It's an excellent call against that, except the clock keeps moving. There's Washington going upstairs again. Right side, he's got Buford. Defend didn't get a successful onside kick. Three wide receivers to the left. Washington throws it out the left side, completes it over to Jesse. Jesse's taken out of bounds, short of the goal line. Has become a factor. Now here's Auburn and the straight wishbone to try to punch it over. And they give it to Collins, and Collins is stopped short, I believe, over there. Yep, didn't get it across. Have to score here and then try to get an onside kick and make the two-point extra point. They give it over the left side, and there's the touchdown over the middle. Brent so Fullwood goes, and Auburn has come back to score. So they keep some faint hopes alive here. Going for the two points. They have to have this to have any chance to tie. Three wide receivers to the right, and they give it up the middle, and the penalty flag goes down. Offsides, defense, half a dip, replay the down. The tie is the only thing they can do. Here's a keep, and Washington scores. They got the two points here. They're within eight. It's 35-27 with two minutes and 33 seconds to go. Jerry Gray did it. So there's the score now. Texas 35, Auburn 27. Auburn the second chance, and they made it pay. And now here comes the onside kick attempt. There's the ball. It's got to go 10 yards, remember? Doesn't go 10 yards. And it's going to be Auburn recovered, and they didn't go 10. You know why? Because if Texas, Texas doesn't touch the – if they don't touch the ball – Texas then, player touched it. And Auburn can't fall on it. But once Texas touches the ball, it, it, it's a free ball. It becomes Auburn's ball. They're 54 yards away from getting a tie with plenty of time. Two and a half minutes to go. His option keep by Washington. And he's going to be cut down around the 50 yard line. Tony Gray back in a single safety. They got to beat him in the end. Here's the long pass. There goes Gray. He's got it. Picked off by Gray of Texas. That'll end it for the Longhorn. Dinner sets on the 20 yard line. Intended for Clayton Buford. Well, that's when the All-Americans come through when the chips are down. He comes up one here, killing Auburn's last slim hope. Been a long shot anyway for Auburn. They hand it off up the middle to Morsell. Between the tackles. Or's the tailback. 
And there it is. There's Orr. Just ducks in there. Pick. Down to two seconds. Now they get the snap away. And hand it off to the short man, the fullback Johnson. Go in the game. Texas will take the penalty. And now Telchik will try to kick it out of there. Now they're going to drop back for a return. Here's Telchik. Drive the kick. They got a return set up here. Back over the 40, 35, 36 yard line. And Auburn will have a couple of shots at it here with 19 seconds to go. Good fun. Washington. Washington downfield. Incomplete. That's 14 seconds, I think, the way that yep, it is 14. They give it on a draw play. Here comes fullback AG, and they keep him in bounds at the 29 yard line. Texas spelling victory now, James Watt, and that will be the final play of the game, and Texas is the winner. In a high-scoring affair between two defensive teams, Texas comes out on top by eight points, 35 to 27, in a game that featured the passing of Todd Dodge. Yes, it did. Todd Dodge, I thought, had a sensational game, and I think this man right here, Fred Aker, called a sensational ball game for his team. They did what they had to do offensively, and that's throw the football. Well, they overcame the injuries, and they won. The final, Texas 45, Auburn 27.